Hi, I'm Steve Sandler, the founder of AEI Systems, a company that specializes in modeling, analysis, and simulation. A large part of our focus is on analog and power electronics, though we also support RF and instrumentation, primarily for the high reliability arena. In our business, we're frequently called on to assess and troubleshoot system level issues, many of which are related to the Power Distribution Network, or PDN. The problems we tend to encounter are generally related to issues such as noise, PDN type transients, clock problems, and DMI. The causes of the customer issues are generally covered in this very short list. Stability, EMI, switching issues, distribution issues, and subpar performance. A lot of what we do in our business is troubleshooting high fidelity distributed systems. Those often include power supplies, ADC clocks, and other instrumentation circuits. One of the ways that we look at power supply noise in a distributed system is using something like the Tektronix RSA 5106A real-time spectrum analyzer or the Agilent E5052B signal source analyzer. These devices are very sensitive with very low noise floors, allowing us to see even minute amounts of noise that show up in the clock jitter as spurious response signals. That identifies the noise in the highest fidelity possible. These architectures often include FPGAs, CPUs, and other sensitive devices requiring power distribution network or PDN assessment. Here we're showing the assessment of a 1 milliohm PDN distribution bus with 100 picohenry effective inductance, and we're measuring that on both an Agilent Technologies E5061B vector network analyzer and also on the Omicron Lab Bode 100 vector network analyzer. Either one of these devices is capable of measuring power distribution networks down as low as 1 milliohm and in some cases even lower. So my lab is actually broken down by domain, the first domain being time. Here we have an Agilent E8257D signal generator that allows us to sweep 250 kilohertz to 20 gigahertz. We use this signal generator to assure the fidelity, resolution, and bandwidth of our setups, including the probes and the front ends of all our sensitive equipment. We have frequency counters from PicoTest that track all the way up to 20 gigahertz and allow us to make very accurate measurements, including Allen variance jitter. We have a variety of oscilloscopes, starting with the HDO6104 from LaCroix, which is the first 12-bit true high-resolution scope. We have the Tektronix MSO5204 oscilloscope, 2 gigahertz bandwidth, 10 giga samples per second. And that's about the lowest bandwidth that we think is acceptable for a typical switching power supply. Above that, we go to the DPO 7354C from Tektronix, has a 3.5 gigahertz bandwidth and a higher sample rate at 40 giga samples per second. A LaCroix Wave Runner 640ZI, 40 giga samples per second and 4 gigahertz bandwidth. These oscilloscopes have rise times on the order of about 75 picoseconds, which is just about fast enough for the upcoming EGAN and GAN switches. Typical point of load switches today are about 1 nanosecond. And that means that we really do want at least 100 picosecond resolution or 10 giga samples per second. When we're troubleshooting distributed systems, frequently we do need to measure signals that are much faster than the 75 picosecond rise time would allow. This is often the case when we're looking at PDNs and also when we're looking at some of the newer devices such as the HEMP switches, EGAN, and GAN. In those cases, we turn to the next range in oscilloscopes offering approximately 15 picosecond resolution, or rise time, and 20 gigahertz of active bandwidth. They have large memories, four channels, and allow us to see even very fast transients occurring on the fastest FPGA bus. 
Thanks for watching our videos. It was fun for me to share at my lab and I appreciated you spending your time with us.